ride very far over here. I mean, I've been to Fort Lauderdale. And, uh, you know, your traffic can be a little weird. Where do you guys think the worst trappers are? Miami. I think Boca Raton. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of elderly people there. Oh, sorry. Anyway, uh, no, but I sell bumper stickers there to say, uh, if you can't see my head, I can't see you. My hair blew back off. <laughs> and you guys have said Miami, you are correct. Miami has the worst drivers. And this did not help your reputation. This is a true story. A couple of years ago, the Miami Beach Patrol ran over a woman on the beach. Now, I don't mean to judge. But I'm just saying, I would think the minimum requirement for being a beach patrol person would be something like, do not run over the people <laughs> on the beach. Imagine her when she woke up. She's like, wow, you guys got out here pretty fast. <laughs> My legs are hurting. What happened? <laughs> well, we ran over you, man. Don't you think they should have like a test orientation training period? Throw some mannequins out there. <laughs> the guy hits a mannequin, he don't get that job. Fort Lauderdale, they had a problem recently. The school bus driver hit a kid getting off the school bus. Again, I don't mean to judge, but I would think the minimum requirement for being a school bus driver would be something like, do not hit the children. Especially the ones getting off your bus. And I'm pretty sure the kid was just out there following the instructions. Right? Looking both ways. For what? Cars? I don't think mommy said nothing about this bus. Your mom said, watch out for the bus. Can you get off the bus? No, the bus was supposed to help you out. Imagine you get off the bus. Most of like, watch out for the bus. So, so I live in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Anybody from Fort Lauderdale? I live in a little neighborhood called Victoria Park, you hear that? It's a nice neighborhood, I like it a lot. But, uh, it's also very, uh, gay. Did not know that when I moved in there. Boy, can those guys landscape, let me tell you. They know how to fix up a house. But this is a true story. A couple of weeks ago, the mailman knocked on my door. So I thought was weird, since I have a mailbox. He's <laughs> like, Mr. Panzeca, here's your mail. I'm like, hey, thanks, I appreciate it. He goes, listen, while I have you here, I'm like, dude, I'm only here because you knocked on the door. <laughs> he says to me, do you ever watch adult films? I'm thinking, did I need to shave him? <laughs> so I'm usually very careful about stuff like that. I said, why? He goes, I have one. He takes out a bag. He's like, my friends gave it to me. I'm thinking, am I in this video? <laughs> then he goes, hey, man, you want to check it out? Homie wants to come in my house and watch this with me on my VCR. <laughs> Just to have a VCR. <laughs> I sit in my knee back here next to my lava lamp and watch my VCR. Mailman wants to have sex with me. They're worried about my equipment. <laughs> They're like, oh, he can have sex with the mailman, but he needs to upgrade. <laughs> he needs some Best Buy. <laughs> so because I hesitated, I guess he got a little angry. He goes like this. He goes, why would that be a problem or something? I said, you know what, my friend, come here, sir. It is so weird that you picked my house. I cannot tell you how long it's been a huge fantasy of mine. <laughs> for a mailman to come over my house in the middle of the afternoon and watch pornography on the VCR. I'm sorry I can't today, though. I gotta get ready. The UPS guy 